Alright guys, good morning. Now it's time for the Advent Calendar. The very first ever two-digit uh, number for the Advent Calendar, which is number 10. As you guys can see. So without further ado, let's do this. We're almost halfway. I might actually... Uh, let me just... Yeah, there you go. Oops, number four is stuck with number ten. Okay, let me just. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Hmm. Why is it not? There you go. Ah, there you go. Is it another figure? No, it's an airplane. A mother airplane. We already have an airplane, right? Granny fell down. We already have an airplane. We have another airplane here. Uh, and this has a few parts, so let's see. Uh, okay. Close that. Alright, I think it's time for another time lapse. Let's go! Alright guys, so this is the final product. So it's a yellow airplane. Uh, it's like uh, those airplanes that you land on sea, I believe. I, I don't know what they're called, but it's a yellow airplane. Uh, this is the second airplane that we got because we have a red one, a red and black one. Uh, this one, a smaller one, and I think this is a bigger one. It quite has more parts. It also has two spare parts, which is this small black stud and a transparent bluish uh, one for if in case you lost parts. So this uh, slant trans tra uh, transparent blue stud. There you go. It's not focusing though. Oh, there you go. So yeah, that's the end of the calendar. Uh, let's, let's close number 10. And uh, next one will be number 11. Uh, this one. There you go. So that's the next one we're going to be opening. So yeah. Hey guys, so uh, welcome back to the, uh, the vlog. Uh, today I'm going to be doing something different where I'll be showing you my setup. Uh, what I used to record, what equipments I use for my recordings for my YouTube channel. Uh, what equipments I use, what uh, what you call, what programs, what softwares. Basically, my entire setup showed in one video. So I'm going to be showing you first uh, the equipment and then the programs and how I edit my videos. So let's start with, uh, let's start this video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be showing you is my laptop. Uh, so this is my laptop. So it's a uh, Republic of Gamers. It's uh, what you call these are the specs If you're interested if only it will focus it's an i7 gen Intel Core HDMI I don't know what that means high definition multimedia Interface something like that. It's a 1050 uh, It's a NVIDIA GeForce, GeForce GTX. It's a 1050 GTX There's a bunch of dust and something that involves energy star I don't know but it's a 1050 GTX so basically I'm not gonna show you the entire specs but I'm gonna show you the box of uh, that said laptop so this is the this are the specs it's uh, what you call Asus ROG 
Let me just wait for that noise to disappear. So it's an Asus ROG GL753V. Uh, that's the spec. It's a 4 gig video RAM i7 Intel Core. Uh, ROM is 16 gig. Uh, USB is 2.0 and 3.0. It's a Windows 10 64 bit, obviously. And yeah, uh, and it's a 1050 GTX. It, does, it, didn't, it didn't show here for some reason. But yeah, that's pretty much the specs of this so cool laptop. Uh, yeah. So it's an Asus ROG uh, 1050 GTX i7 64-bit laptop. And now the mouse. I have that terrible mouse pad. It looks like it's been from... <laughs> it's been a lot... It's been used quite often. But yeah, it's terrible. But I'm using a mouse which is very dirty. And it's actually somehow bro broken for some reason. I'm probably going to replace it anytime soon. But it's, it's a Logitech mouse. It's a Logitech M100R. It's not focusing. There you go. Logitech M100R mouse, which, yeah, it's a spare mouse. Uh, that's the mouse. And the microphone is none other than an Audio Technica. I actually bought this for a decent price and it actually works very well. It's an Audio Technica, what you call microphone. It has a stand. It's a table stand. It has a table stand, uh, what you call Audio Technica microphone. Now, I have two pieces of, uh, I don't use headsets. I'm probably gonna buy one very soon, but right now I have, I use only earphones because uh, like headsets, you cannot hear the outside. I'm a type of guy, if someone's calling me, I have to hear it. So if I'm recording and, I, and I'm using a headset, I won't be able to hear people calling me from downstairs. It could be my mom, my dad, or someone I know. So I just, I just choose uh, what you call, uh, what you call uh, earphones rather than a headset but I'm probably gonna buy a headset in the future so this is uh, it's a what you call it's a typical uh, what you call earphones really it's a Philips earphones I believe where's the freaking brand oh there you go it's a Philips let me just move it this way uh, it's really hard to freaking move so yeah it's a Philips. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Nope. There you go. It's a Philips. It's a Philips, uh, what you call it. It's a Philips uh, earphones. But I also have another ear, uh, set of earphones. But I rarely use this one because I only use this when I travel. And when, uh, on my phone, it's a... It's a it's a it's the best earphones I have ever used so far. It's an RH uh, what you call earphones. It has this cut uh, what you call uh, I forgot uh, earmuffs. Uh, what uh, I forgot what it's called. What you call silicon earmuffs or a silicon case and uh, what you call soft earmuffs to, to fit comfortably to your ear. And uh, it's an RHA uh, earphones, silicon casing, and uh, soft earmuffs. I forgot what they're called. I'm probably gonna, what you call. So, uh, this is the, what you call, brand. It's an MA350 noise isolation in ear headphones. So these are the warranty. It has aluminum. There you go. Uh, it's a aluminum construction. It has a three years warranty, and it's from UK. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. So those are the freq the what you call things. Uh, dongle system. Three pairs. There you go, silicon, silicon air, ear tips, which is basically this one. And aluminum, I just got, as you guys see, the silver is aluminum. And it has silicon tips, uh, which is the cotton to put on your ear, which is really cool. Uh, okay, so basically that's an RH earphones. It has a, it's the best earphones and it, it's three years warranty, which is really 
really cool. It's the longest so far. And uh, the what you call rather than what you call uh, plastic or the plastic wiring, what you call I forgot what they're called the black uh, uh, waterproof or what you call electric like black uh, wire like this one like in the old uh, typical uh, black wire waterproof on most headsets and earphones this one is different because this one as you guys can see it's not wire it's actually leather so it does not uh, the durability is way way better it's like what you call from a shoelace so it's pretty much more decent and it does not get uh, destroyed easily destroyed uh, so even if it keep even if it gets tangled on your pocket it does not show any sign of uh, damage because it's leather and uh, it's really cool and it has a three years warranty which is really cool all right so let's go on with the cameras uh, I have here so this is the camera I have and I know before you guys start screaming in the comments saying why am I not using Canon I don't really care if I'm using Canon and, uh, and Nikon as long as it gives me good quality I'm happy with it so I don't really care if I use Nikon or Canon so for those people who are screaming in the comments why am I not using Canon so this is a Nikon D5100 so that's the uh, what you call Nikon D5100 it has a uh, camera and uh, what you call video capabilities which is really sweet and it comes with a tripod so that's nice I'm also using uh, another webcam for most of my videos the newest one I got is a Logitech C525 uh, what you call Logitech C525 uh, webcam i'm probably going to be switching to another one uh hopefully this christmas or this december i'm planning to buy or get a logitech c900 or 920 which is which comes with a mini tripod and has better quality for 1080p or yeah 1080p footage because this one only captures 720p footage so yeah that, that's my setup and now i'm probably gonna show you what you call my editing program and how I edit my videos all right so hey guys so this is uh, what you call uh, this is that I'm gonna be showing you what I'm using for my uh, what, what software I'm using to record videos and uh, and how do I edit them so I'm using, as you guys could see, is an OBS, an open broadcast software. Uh, this is not updated because I didn't want to update it because uh, update sometimes messes my programs. And basically, what this this uh, what this software does, everyone knows what open OBS or open broadcast software is. It's a recording software. It's a free recording software uh, that uh, records your game and even your webcam if you have a webcam so I'm gonna show you uh, bits and pieces so that's what that looks like if uh, I'm not recording with my webcam that's what it looks like if I'm recording uh, what you call if I'm recording with my webcam and basically the black screen means I'm recording I'm not recording any game but the game will come out if uh, I record a game I'm probably not gonna do that right now uh, I also have this for my live stream as you guys know and as you, as you guys can see it has different options you guys can record the game capture a window capture and a monitor capture it has different uses a game capture basically if you are recording a full uh, what you call a full screen game window capture if you're recording a windowed game basically and uh, you can also put pictures like this uh, that I use for my live streams uh, you could this uh, you could also resize uh, certain elements and remove them uh, it also records uh, the sounds of your webcam and the sounds of as you guys could see the microphone and the sounds of uh, your desktop so I could basically what you call 
uh, let's see I could basically adjust and crap any portion of my uh, anything let me just how do I do this so I could do this so basically that's what I can do I can drag it or crap it resize it anywhere or how i see fit or anywhere or in any shape or form that i would want so that's very good it's really it's really easy to use actually it's really easy to use as long as you get used to it uh, you could also record your entire webcam what i'm doing right now or you could just switch to a, a different uh what you call project where you just records uh a small part of your webcam and add pictures uh, and then you can export it into uh, mp4 and then just edit it out uh, also uh, you can uh, start streaming you can stream it this is uh, what most people use this for streaming I think Markiplier one of the youtubers one of the best YouTubers I've seen in YouTube records this, uh, what you call using OBS, but this is OBS. And I believe there is an, a new one called OBS Studio, Open Broadcast Software Studio. You can also record it, uh, stream it if you are doing live streams, or preview it to see if it's ready, if, uh, if there's anything wrong or if, if there's anything you want to change before you start recording. Uh, there are plugins that I don't know how to use, but yeah pretty much this is uh what i used to record or edit my uh this is what i used to record uh my games and i used to uh what i used for live streaming uh there's uh open uh what do you call obs studio which is i believe way better than the one i'm using because i'm only using uh open broadcast software uh which is obs not the obs studio but i really like it i still enjoy it it's a lot easier to use than the uh, obs studio than the new one so yeah pretty much let's go on with the what you call editing software all right guys so i'm back so this is my software which is camtasia studio uh this is the software that i use to edit videos uh so it's Camtasia Studio. Let me just uh, what you call do this. Uh, where is it? There you go. So you guys could see. Uh, actually, it does not show it. Eh. So I'm still using OBS to record this one. <clears throat> I'm still using OBS to record this one, but I'm showing you my editing software called Camtasia Studio. By the way guys, if you guys wanna what you call wanna get the links of the softwares that I use, I'll be I'll try my best to leave the links below. Uh what you call to leave the links of the softwares that I use. I'm using uh OBS, open broadcast software to record this, and it's a free software. It's easy to use, it's user friendly, that's the reason why I love using OBS. But the reason uh, the one I'm using for editing my videos is not OBS but Camtasia Studio. Once I have uh, what you call exported and re uh, what you call uh, what you, uh, what do you call that? Uh, once I uh, exported my MP4 videos from OBS and once I converted it to a decent uh, file or converted it uh, to an MP4 suitable. Uh, format I use Camtasia Studio to edit my software so let's let me just give you guys a quick look of what I of what software I what you call how I use or edit my videos so I'm using Camtasia Studio uh, 8.1 I think there is a newest version right now which I haven't updated yet but I'm probably I'm probably won't update until I need to update because sometimes updates can mess up your software sometimes there's a corruption in the update so yeah so un until something does not work properly that means I need to update so that's probably the time I need to update so you get so this is the one I put right now so basically you just it's easy it's easy to use it's drag and drop so for example I have uh, I get a video here from on the what you call left side of my screen which is probably on your left or right side depending on what which way you're watching but on this side 
as you guys see is uh, where all my files are uh, the white screen the white portion of the screen beside the giant uh, what you call preview uh, monitor you guys could see all the files that I have decided to put for this video so uh, there's also the video that I recorded previously so let me just show it to you so this is the video I recorded previously uh, before you're watching this so that's me so let's just delete that so basically it's just drag and drop so I recorded the video before and that's what we're gonna try to edit so basically you can just uh, drag uh, what you call anything that uh, you want so basically drag all the files that you want to use in this screen and then just drag it to the timeline which is on the lowest part of the screen so now I have it I click it drag and this is my intro if you guys didn't know that was made by my friend uh, his description is in the uh, his YouTube channel is in the description down below so that's what I that's what you guys see and I play it so basically that's what it sounds like let me just increase the volume all right so okay so basically that's what it sounds like so let's say I want to have another video so let's see so this one already has the intro so I'm just gonna remove the intro and how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna click the video file and then when I see this arrow I'm not sure if you guys can see it but when I see this arrow on the middle of these two videos basically I wipe it and once it's highlighted and the reason one way to know if it's uh, chosen or if it's highlighted is if it's color blue and if it's gray that means it's not selected so I just select the footage uh, go in the middle see the change see, see the cursor change to this uh, double-sided arrow drag it until I want to stop where I want it to begin and that's the what you call that's the video where I'm playing the world's hardest game if you guys want to watch that it's my youtube channel so let's see how this works so I can just combine the footage or if there's I, I, there's a block space that I wanna keep I could that depends on you guys so basically let's play just click space or the space bar so basically that so what uh, you could uh, also you can do the same thing if you want the video to end in a certain part uh, you could go here and just crap it like that so it will stop where you want to stop the uh, where you want to stop the video if you want to crap for example you don't want a certain part let's see uh, let's say this part uh, those uh, finger hands let's say we, we want to remove that so basically uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we go to the certain to the area of the timeline of the footage you want to delete just click select make sure it's highlighted and if it's blue that means it's selected and edit and we want to go split if you want if you want to split multiple footages uh, you, you guys have to choose split all but I'm gonna choose split and as it, what it does is it cuts the footage depending on where this uh, what you call pointer in the timeline is it will cut the footage in two sections so now uh, this is where let's say this is where I want it to stop and this is let's say there let's say that's where I wanted it to disappear so we're gonna click this one because this is where we want to split click edit and then split again so now we have another set of footages and this is the part where we want to remove so basically what's this yeah ignore that one so basically this is just the footage that we want to delete and then combine the both footages So basically now the footage is gone. You don't see the thumbs up mark anymore. And if you're if you create a mistake, basically it's very easy. Just control Z. 
it's like most software does oops oops I think there you go so there you go that's thing so if you control Z it will just revert back and then you can redo again or do what you need to do again so uh, now what happens if we want to lower down the volume of our footage so we go to audio as you guys could see you guys could see the wavelengths or the audio or the audio of the video let's say let's let's see uh, so let's say uh, we don't want to hear any volume from this footage here the one in the middle so we can just as you guys can see the green part is the wavelengths you can just as you, if you go to the on top of it the cursor changes from pointing up and down you drag it uh, until it disappears and then when you play the footage there is no audio so yeah or if you want to lower down the volume let's say it's too loud you can just drag it or way to what you call not low to loud. so depending on your liking so let's see so you can if that's that's still too loud for you you can lower down the volume a bit until depending on your liking or if it's too not too loud for you you can increase the volume by just dragging it up we playing we playing we playing hardest hardest game. Game. so basically that's what happens now what happens if you want to lower down a certain volume of a video let's see let's try you guys could also zoom in using this part uh, the uh, what you call you can zoom in the timeline okay let's see let's find a portion where we don't want to hear let's say we don't want this part uh, let's say, uh, let's see. Let's do this, do this. Okay. Let's do this, do this. So let's say we don't, we don't want to hear this part. Let's me saying, let's do this. Let's say we don't want, we only don't, we only want to remove this, the audio on that part where I say, let's do this. So basically, what you need to do, it's very simple. Uh, as you guys could see. Uh, there are tabs on this side you have to click audio of course because you wanna fix or change the audio so basically uh, there are a lot of options here but of course uh, first things first is you have to uh, click or make sure that the footage where you want to change the audio is highlighted and one way to do that is like I said make sure that it's selected and, uh, and if the color of the footage is blue that means it's selected or highlighted so once that happens uh, as you guys can see everything is grayed out but once you choose the footage that you want to change it becomes uh, choosable and it's not grayed out anymore so basically you want to add an audio point on the very beginning of the footage or the audio that you want to remove or change so we click add audio point and it will put the audio point where this uh, arrow or pointer in the timeline is so if I put it let's say I want to add an audio point in this uh, part if I click on uh, add audio point it will add a circle mark on the audio on where the pointer is so control Z that to remove it let's say we want it here and add audio point it will go there so you can add as many as you want so let's say we want to uh, we want to cut uh, remove the audio on this part so basically uh, you let's say this up to this point or mark that's not let's add another audio point actually I forgot to mention you need to put two audio points by the way on each side so let's put another one on the very beginning you will guys you guys will understand why 
and let's put another one on here on the very end and says add audio point there you go so now there's two on this side and two on this side now what I would want to do let's say we don't want to hear me saying let's do this so I can j I will do the same way a process that I did before but this time it will not affect thanks to the audio points that I put it will not affect the entire audio of the footage but only this certain footage surrounded are uh, this certain portion surrounded by the audio points so let's say I want to click it go to the portion where you want to decrease or remove the volume and just drag it as you guys can see the audio points are serving as a barrier to prevent the other footages from or the other the other audios from what you call from being affected so you can still increase this uh, depending on your liking so and this one as well but this time rather than me hearing let's do this the audio is now gone so let's try to see if it works alright so as you can see there is no volume there unlike before if we put uh, where is it E there you go if we put it like that where the audio was there you go you guys could hear me say it but without it of course it's gone you could also do it in multiple parts let's say we want to put one here and do the same thing let's say we want to cut there and I'm just doing this randomly for just the sake of what you call uh, just the sake for it for you guys to understand how I do things so let's say we don't want an audio there so, there's no, so as you guys can see, there's no audio there. You hear nothing but silence. You hear nothing but silence. Alright. So there's the audio parts. Let's just control Z that. Alright, so now uh, that's done. You guys know the audio. Let's say we want to put music on this video let's say I have music here as you guys can see this is monkey spinning monkey so I have all I have to do is uh, I want to put the music uh, basically underneath the footage so as you guys can see when I drag this footage a track 2 appeared on the timeline and if I drag this one oops let me just that's not what I meant to do if I drag it again on uh, uh, on top of the if I drag it above uh, another layer if I drag it above again it will create track 3 and if I keep dragging it will create as many tracks as I need it so let's say we only need two tracks one for the video and one for the music let's say we want to put the music uh, on this uh, what you call on this part of the video so basically we drag the music uh, actually no let's you know what uh let's say we want to start a new footage let's say uh let's, where is it let's let's use the one we used before this one where i'm just talking so, hey guys so this is uh what you call so it's boring because you, can, you guys can't hear anything it's just me talking so basically let's say I want to put some music on this footage so basically you, you drag your mp3 files on this uh, program on this white screen and then you will see audio and basically that's where all your music files is you just drag it down and place it where you want it to be placed you can drag it left and right where you want the music to start so let's say that's good uh, let's say let's uh, match it where the where I started talking all right. all right okay let's start where I said all right so I'm gonna drag it as you guys can see this is the part where I say all right so I just drag the audio where I want the music to start and now so the music is still not that loud it's still what you call quite uh, soft or should I say not good enough or not loud enough for the people to hear so let's increase it a bit yeah. 
I mean it's loud but it's it's not way too it's not very loud because now it the the music is way louder than me talking so let's increase my volume and see what happens uh, this, uh, is, this is the, the, I'm gonna be showing gonna you show what I'm using, I'm using for my, my, uh, what, what, my what software I'm software using to record, record videos. videos there you go it's a lot more clear so basically you can, you can do the same thing with the what you call with the music or with the audio just make sure that the music is selected and uh, you guys can remove certain parts of the music if you guys want to remove that part uh, let's say add audio points on this part and this part here and this part here and this part here so basically uh, once that's done I just lower down the volume let's say this portion I don't want to hear that portion uh, what you call? Uh, this, uh, is, this is see uh, that portion is done so you can actually do the same thing with uh, the mp3 files by removing certain portions of the sound so let's control Z that because we don't need that so uh, let's say we want to put a picture on this uh, open space of the software so we go to back uh, we go to audio and now we go back to clip bin where all our files are located so let's say we want to put a picture on this side and I have an image here as you guys can see on the side I'm not sure if, I think my webcam is covering it but uh, once you drag your pictures JPEG PNG it can use both JPEG and PNGs which is really good so if you want a JPEG where it has a background or a PNG where it has no background it's uh, it both works so I'm using a PNG uh, of Slenderman so I have a picture of Slenderman I'm just gonna drag it on top of the timeline where I want the what you call slender man to appear so let's say uh, this is so let's say uh, before after I say ah uh, this is slender man will just pop out on the screen uh, this uh, is, this is, is, is. alright so let's see this is the part where he pops out uh, this uh, is, is the, I'm the, gonna be I'm showing gonna you what I'm using, I'm using for my, for my, uh, my software. Uh, uh, Alright, and of course, how? Uh, let's say I wanna. I'm using. I'm using. I want Thunderman to disappear to the part where I say I'm using. So basically, you go select the put uh, the image and make sure it's highlighted and it's color blue, and then drag this. Go to the sides of the image and wait for it, the cursor to change to this part. And then drag it, and then let's see what happens. Uh, this is, uh, this is the, I'm the, gonna be showing you what I'm using. I'm using for, for there you go. So basically, you could put as many pictures, and basically, I'm using a PNG because you can still see the background, and you can even drag the footage as many as you want. You could resize it if it's too big for you, and put it here. Uh, you can crap it by going on the what you call top right of the screen and you will see this toggle crop mode uh, there, there are four options that you can use uh, there's uh, what you call uh, pan mode a toggle crop mode I'm not gonna show you the entire program this is gonna show you the basics what I use so toggle crop mode you can crap the picture if you want or basically you can crap the footage can crap this one so uh, once uh, you can crap this one so you can depending on your liking so pretty much that's this is what I use and then how I render it is I just go to file and uh, I go to produce and share and there's a different settings I choose of course uh, MP4 only up to 720p, uh, 720p, which is it means 720 HD. Oops, what's this? So MP4 only up to 720p. Am I still? Yeah, I think I'm still recording. So MP4 only up to 720p. Uh, its resolution or dimensions 1 to 180 by 720. It's an MP4 video, which is the universal uh, format for videos. And as you guys can see, it says uh, 
it's mp4 only uh, and you guys could choose different formats uh, you guys could go with mp4 only up to 480p a lower resolution and that will change the dimensions um, basically what if you don't want the result uh, what what if you, you want something bigger so you could go here uh, editing dimensions you go on this side where my mouse where my mouse is pointing and you go to the editing dimensions uh, just above your what you call working screen uh, you see this number which is my resolution which is 1280 by 720 click it and you guys could edit the resolution you guys want so there are different resolutions or if you don't if you cannot see the resolution you want you can edit them basically edit them uh, and put the numbers you want you can uh, keep the aspect ratio but if you don't uh, because if I go 2000 it will automatically adjust the height but if I put the keep aspect ratio if I uncheck this it will only adjust the width and not the height so 1280 and 720 so it will not adjust the height based on the width so if uh, if you want to balance both height and width uh, keep aspect ratio will do that for you but if you don't want that if you don't want to change the height while you're changing the width then keep this keep aspect ratio uncheck and then just click OK um, oh, and then uh, if you want to render or what you call uh, what you call get the final output for your YouTube video if you want to render it to get the f file produce and share I'm not gonna render this because uh, because there's no point of me rendering this uh, it's just me showing you guys how I work things or how I do things so go I'm gonna choose mp4 only up to 720p because that's my uh, traditional what you call default uh, settings it's 120 720 mp4 video I click next uh, the production name which is the file name of your footage I'm just gonna name this whatever I want let's say file and it uh, you guys could choose where it want uh, what you call where you want the footage to be saved and uh, it can be saved in uh, as you guys can see it's, it's saved on my desktop so it will open it will of course come out in my desktop and I click finish it will render and then it will what you call output my footage so I'm not gonna do that because I don't need that and yeah pretty much uh, that's it sometimes when I use uh, what you call Spe special effects for my videos I use Adobe After Effects and if I edit my thumb where I edit my thumbnails of course obviously it's Adobe Photoshop so those are the programs I use for uh, other than Camtasia Studio and OBS I record my special effects through Adobe After Effects and I record my thumbnails for my videos or YouTube videos on Adobe Photoshop so yeah pretty much this is my software Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are interested in buying or trying to use my software that I use, which is OBS, it's a OBS or Open Broadcast Software, is a, is one of my favorite softwares to use in uh in uh my favorite software to use in when it comes to recording videos and doing live streams because it's easy to use, it's user friendly, and it's absolutely 100% free. And if you want some customer service help, there are a lot of users, just go to their forums or the website of OBS, the OBS website, where there's a lot of users and uh, friendly people who's going to try to help you if you have problems with OBS. Um, so pretty much, uh, there's a new software called OBS Studio. I haven't used it yet because I'm not used to it, but I'm using OBS, which is I'm using right now to record this footage. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me guys know what you guys think about my setup. Let me guys know if I should change anything about myself uh, about my setup. A lot of you guys are probably shouting on the comments saying I should be using uh, Canon as a camera or I should be using a different software for editing my software uh, like Adobe Premiere, uh, Vegas, Vegas Pro or why am I not using Vegas or Final Cut 
I'm not using Final Cut because I think Final Cut is for only Mac users and I'm only, I'm only, I'm using Windows and not Mac. And why am I not using Vegas? Because I don't know. I prefer Camtasia Studio because it's uh, user friendly. Com uh, Vegas has a lot of options to use and it's much more popular. A lot of YouTube YouTubers use it including Markiplier. But for me, it's not. Uh, um, there's a lot of buttons. I get confused with it. I want a user-friendly software where it's just a basic, what you call simple, basic uh, window where I can edit it without too many buttons, too many displays, and stuff like that. But yeah, this is it. That's it, pretty much. Uh, I've shown you my equipment and I've shown you what programs I use. Uh, to edit my videos if you guys want to check out where I uh, where I get the softwares I will be leaving the link hopefully I'll remember that I'll be leaving the link of all the softwares that I use in this video and yeah that's where I'm gonna end it here hope you guys enjoy this vlog or help uh, enjoy me showing you guys my setup if you enjoyed leave a like also don't forget to subscribe now if you haven't and as always I will see you guys next time with another brand new video this is the cool Mike signing off goodbye